So here I'm changing out a 24 RAQ and uh, you can see it builds up quite a bit of dust. I'm going with the same size unit, the 24 RAQ and uh, that way it'll fit nicely right into the wall space. Alright, got the unit out. It just basically slid forward straight out and then looking inside here there was a bunch of trash which I cleaned up. I'm going to clean it up more. So here's the main drain which gets cleaned at the same time the unit gets cleaned. Here's the uh, refrigerant piping which comes downstairs. There's the heater piping. There's one. There's the other back there. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal up connections on the ductwork up top because I can crawl inside here and also I can seal up uh, and take a look inside the fire damper is open which is good there's the fire damper and I'm gonna check I'll put a stick a camera up in the duct make sure the ducts connected because I've seen them not connected at the top and uh, where the joint was just it was kind of hard to connect and they didn't finish it there's the uh, fire sprinkler and looks like it's been converted so I'll do some prep work well I can go into the uh, little mechanical closet here before I put the unit in here's the uh, condenser unit on this one the uh, compressor terminals blew clean off you can see right there and then uh, it lost all its refrigerant and this is a, a one and a half ton and I'm um, swapping out to a two ton because I'm doing that on all the lower floors and uh, that was the original carrier unit you know, 20 plus years old so what I'm going to do now is purge out uh, the refrigerant lines got my CO2 here and then I connect it to the line and purge it out. And that'll uh, remove oil that's in the line. I'm going to do the same thing on the suction line there too. All right, I got the ductwork sealed. I got it siliconed up on the top. I cleaned out the space right there. Got my piping flushed out. And so now I'm ready to slide the new unit in. And uh, I got it sitting on some buckets right now and I'll lift it up, slide it right into the slot there. And then I'll be able to seal this duct from the inside and then I'll solder up the pipes because I got the pipes unsoldered, cleaned up. They solder onto right there. I must put that unit in right now. Here's the heater coil out of the old unit. It's getting pretty stopped up. See right there? Here's the cooling coil. Looks like it was cleaned with acid at one time. The fins, see how they're flaking apart. You know, right there. You always want to avoid acid on these coils. Just clean them with water or a vacuum. Versus on a heater coil, see how it doesn't flake. The cooling coil, see how it's chipping. Right there, it all tearing. The heater coil doesn't doesn't tear. So anyway, it was time to change this out. There's getting Mr. Unit right there. I'm gonna show how I'm gonna get this uh, new two-ton unit up through the hatch safely uh, by myself and uh, using an electric hoist which I got up there 
one of the keys for safety is you use double for everything. I got double of the choke straps. I got electric hoist tied onto both of the straps. I got a backup safety rope, which I use on a I use a rung of the ladder, it makes a break. And uh, so the rope's capable of holding the unit in case something happens with the winch. Up here, I got the ladder tied off with the rope on the left. So this is interesting. I can show you what changed in 20 years because both of these units are made by Carrier. They're pretty much the same design. But in 20 years, they've gone, the old unit was a 10 sear and it's gone to a 13 sear now. So it's 30% less electricity. And, uh, and so to accomplish that, you can see the unit's a little bit taller so it's got a bigger coil. And the bigger coil does a better heat transfer. But the, the big change is the compressor. This is a uh, pot compressor, and uh, which has, a, it's called a reciprocating, and has two cylinders. There's a, uh, this is a one and a half ton. It's a uh, one and a half horsepower at the top of the pot, and then two cylinders with a crankshaft and valves at the bottom. There's a lot of moving parts involved with that, you know, connecting rods and things like that. Uh, this is uh, what's called a scroll compressor, and this is a two-ton, a little bit bigger size, and then you can see it's a lot smaller looking. It only has two moving parts, a stationary scroll and an uh, orbiting scroll. It's not a spinning scroll, it's like a, kind of works in a circle. So by going to the scroll compressor, going to the new refrigerant, which is the R410A, they're able to increase the efficiency 30%, you know, on those uh, units. Pretty cool. All right, I got my rig set up to go down. So again, we got our rope, we got our cable, Got a ladder tied off so the ladder doesn't want to pull over. I have to do a disclaimer this is um, harder than it looks. There's a lot of ways to get hurt uh, doing this, and um, I've done a lot of work on Marines you know, working in ships. You definitely don't want to do this, and uh, crane is going to be safer, and uh, you have to know what you're doing. There's a lot of ways, like I said. It, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. I change out a lot of units out here at Decoverly. It makes it easy for me. So uh, I just want to put my little disclaimer in there. Do not recommend doing this for other uh, contractors.
something really important here. You got to have a screw. You got to secure the uh, winch to the ladder. Is that that winch slides like that? Guess what? You're gonna lose your load. So there's more to it than you know than it looks. Like I said, my disclaimer shouldn't do this unless you got a lot of experience heavy lifting. So like on both sides, the winch has got to be secured firmly to the ladder so it doesn't shift. Got a couple other things I'm going to do out here is uh, I'll clean off the pad. I'm keeping the original pad because uh, the roof will be changed out. That's when the pad will be changed. Now I'm going to fix, uh, we got a serious uh, leak right here on the roof jack and uh, I'll go ahead and fill all that in. I'm going to change the wire. This was um, kind of uh, doesn't look like it was outdoor rated wire. You see how it's starting to kind of crack. So I'll change out the wire here and then solder up the pipes. I've already flushed the pipes and I'll uh, put a filter dryer on it. Actually, the unit comes with a little filter dryer right there. So I have the piping connected and uh, we got suction line here. This is where the gas comes back to the unit. And the liquid line, that's where it goes out as a liquid to cool the house. Here's a filter dryer right here. And that keeps the Freon clean, also keeps the oil clean for the compressor. And I'm gonna solder with Staybrite silver bearing. Uh, it's a soft solder, it melts at 425. This is uh, used for refrigeration and I use it also on the AC unit, so it actually makes stronger joints. And since it's a lower temperature, it doesn't burn up the stuff, you know, burn up inside the copper and make slag and things like that. I'll set this camera up, you can see me solder. Silver bearing soft solder, it just uses uh, a regular propane torch. You always heat up the outside of the joint. You gotta be careful not to use too much heat. It's really easy to overheat these joints and then you end up boiling the solder and ruining the joint. divide the joints in 180. I hit them a couple times there. heat 
on these little lines. The wiring on these units is real simple. There's two wires for the control. This makes 24 volt and it pulls in this contactor here, which then turns on the power. And then the 230 volt is right here. And that goes across the contactor and it gives the 230 volts to the fan and the compressor in the bottom there. And that's, that's it on the wiring. We have start up here, suction pressure, 132, and then at 46 degrees is the refrigerant temperature. So suction's doing good. We got our amps running at 8.4 amps. So that looks good. I just gotta come back and uh, do the insulation, fix the water leak, change out the wire here. And I gotta do some drywall downstairs. It's looking good. There's a unit there. So I cleaned up a little bit and got all these screws, uh, you know, off the roof and then a big old bag of trash there. Quite a bit collecting. All right, we got the installation completed here. We got our new insulation. I used uh, sunlight resistant silicon, fixed up the water leaks on the roof jack, built a dryer installed, got our new outdoor rated uh, wire for the uh, power. Turned out a nice looking job. And of course cleaned up the roof. You can see all the other units here on the roof. Got a bunch of trash off the roof there. There's the unit starting up. We got the unit installed here. I also did drywall. I got second coat down. And then I also did the, redid the corner here. It was uh, looking kind of bad. And uh, re-taped and floated uh, the corner. And uh, one more trip. I'll be final on the drywall and everything looks good.